Whoa, edits on the intro now. Welcome to TFLP Microcasters. I'm Lucas, and joining me tonight is Christian. What up? And Jack. What's happening, people? Hey, it's been a little while. It's been a hot minute, like I just posted in the in the stream. Yeah, you were saying the last time that uh, that you were on that my hair was short, so... Yeah, well, shorter than mine, and I have kind of short hair, so uh, it's been a while. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, Anna is on vacation this week, so we decided uh, we'd have Jack on. Actually, Anna's pretty close to you, I guess, right? Yeah, like from what I heard, a really, really spontaneous trip, so... Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, sometimes it's what it takes. So, there you go. Luke's and I encouraged Anna to get out of town very hard. We we pressed her. We were like, go, leave. Go someplace. Take a break. And she did. She did go. It was great. So, yeah. So, we'll have to hear, hear about that uh, next week. But this week, uh, we've got a little uh, Galvatron here. So, we're oh. waiting to do that. Oh, there you go. Pew. It's a, it's such an amazing figure, right? <laughs> Did Jack have you sold your that. have you sold yours yet? I know I saw that you had it for sale. The Titans Return. Uh, My Galatron. Titans Return, yes, yes. That is, I'm hopefully I'm hope hoping somebody like snags it sometime soon because uh, I like him to go. Yeah. Ooh. You got me with that one. I can't see the toy cam, of course, so I didn't know he was coming. <laughs> well, it's for comparison, you know, because we can show I, how far we've come since this uh, you know what? pile of garbage. It's crazy to see how far we came with that mold, because that mold is Super Megatron, kind of. Right? Yeah. Super Megatron's amazing. It, right. I mean, if it wasn't for the head gimmick, you know, it would be a lot better. And, and the stupid yeah. shuttle thing. They got rid of those. It'd be okay. So, but they did it. Chan, chan, chan. So now we get to spend twice as much five years later and get this one. Jason's all talking up in the chat that uh, apparently he has a correctly assembled shoulders. Woo! Ooh. It's big time there. <laughs> I thought mine were at first until I looked today and that they were and I was like, eh. I was I was watching one fix. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm not I'm not trying that. No, thank you. I have no idea what's correct and what's incorrect. They both look the same to me. I mean No, they're not the same, man. Like so they these They look are... exactly the same to me. It's slightly oops. Can you not tell? Yeah. No. It's just slightly, I it's slightly saw it, no higher. Point. I mean, it's like you have a, a pin facing but... forward. That's what I can tell. Yeah, it's like a millimeter. Cool. Mine, mine could be right. Mine could be incorrect. I have no idea. No clue. I don't. We know. can look it later. Doesn't, we'll find it doesn't out. really bother me that much. I mean, I don't know. It's fine. Doesn't say my mine. This is how he looks if you have the supposedly incorrect shoulders. So. Looks the same. Still looks as good. Yeah. That's that's what you say if you have big correct shoulders. Is it? Yeah, it looks the same. I guess. It's fine. Uh, yeah. Uh. So, yeah. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, so supposedly it's a running change, but we've had some people that have gotten later versions in various places, and they've had them where they've been assembled like this. So I don't know. I, I've been waiting, um, to, you know, for them to actually come in, you know, local retail, um, you know, kind of hit, hit capacity to kind of see, you know, what, uh, what's the correct way and incorrect or whatnot. So, but yeah, I mean, either way it does, it doesn't really interfere with anything if you like if you it really bugged you i know some people are flipping them around 
like if they don't want to do the fix, which the fix is, is you take like a um, screwdriver. Two screwdrivers on each end, pry it up so the pin can come out. And... Yeah. Yeah. Way it's... too much work. Yeah. I definitely yeah. don't want to do pin nonsense if I don't have to do pin nonsense. And then um, some other people, there's like, I guess people are making gap fillers for this little. So if you have your shoulders like this. And they don't like the pin, then they make a little filler that you can put in the in the pinhole. Cool. So, or you can flip it around; and it looks exactly the same. That too. I mean, it's it. I'm telling you, man. Like that millimeter makes a huge difference, Christian. Does it? So. Looks exactly the same, man. I don't know. I I don't see it. <laughs> Maybe if you did one and one, I could try. So, anyway. I don't, I don't get it. But yeah, that, that's been kind of the big controversy on this guy. I mean, I know before he actually came out, everyone was trying to say that he was stumpy and whatnot, but I think it was like a trick of the camera that whoever had leaked it. Because, I mean, yeah. to me, it looks pretty, you know, pretty normal proportions. That, like, I would say the chest seems like a little bit big i don't know if you what, what you guys think a little bit i mean but uh. i feel like the like i want galvatron to be big you know what i mean he's the leader of the decepticons like i, I want him to be this huge menacing brute guys myself so chunky boy yeah i don't like the treads on the elbows i feel like those get in the way well, where would you put them at? I, you, I just wouldn't have them. <laughs> yeah, have but that's pop of off. Pikes I guess. For me. Yeah, take it parts for So, I mean, the biggest thing yeah. that annoys cool. me as far as about the robot mode is the space mode. Like, why did they put this crap on here? We've gotten so far away from Space Mud, we don't need it anymore, and yet it has made an appearance on a $50 figure. Yeah. Cut that out. I have to get some rubbing alcohol and take it off. I've heard I'm teach kinda, oil might work, too. I'll let you guys know. I'm kind of tempted to do that. I'm not sure yet. I've heard it's actually pretty easy to get it off on this figure, but I, I don't know. I mean... There's no other paint other than the Decepticon to say, or like as far as on, you know, the purple parts other than the Decepticon insignia. So I don't think it'd be too yeah. difficult. I don't, I don't know why Space Mud has made a comeback. Yeah. Galvatron is not known for being muddy. Maybe it's, yeah. maybe it's jacuzzi water from that time he went to that jacuzzi world and went crazy. Er, crazy er. I don't know. It's weird. It is a weird thing to come back. There's also similar paint operations, but they actually work on the barrel. Not this mm -hmm. cannon mood. Yeah, the orange there's paint solid here. There. There's paint here. There's orange paint on the orange clear. Hard to see, but it is there. I mean, I think it looks really good. Honestly, like the yeah, cannon. Looks nice. The cannon looks great. I, I like that they added that to it, you know, because I think even some of the, like, the fans toys version and whatnot, I think you had your option of the opaque or clear, right? I believe yeah. That. I think it, it didn't, it wasn't like this. No, it wasn't gradiated. Grade, gradiated? Yeah. Gradiated. Right. There's another Galvatron toy I'm tempted to look. Ooh, come here. Here's an alt mode, which is cool. It does the it's the thing. It's more of a nope. gun emplacement than I think the G1 one was. And it's definitely more of a gun emplacement than the Titans return one was. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I have not figured out a convincing way to turn this into a submarine though. <laughs> I mean, kinda, maybe. Not really. But yeah, it does it. And I like this part here. It kind of folds out of his legs, which is, it makes some weird, interesting extra parts and extra articulation. 
but uh-huh. it's like a bracing thing at the back and it sits on sits flush on the ground really well and it's like oh yeah that actually is like a functional gun emplacement well well done so if you want you can flip those legs up to the back too like if you like if you really wanted you to right you don't like it yeah, yeah for I some mean, reason you don't you like it fold you fold and fold yeah now they're just there but then you could do that to where if you wanted the cannon to go up or whatnot, like if you're displaying it like that, I suppose. Yeah. It can just be, I guess, now a tank since it doesn't have the emplacement thing. He's got treads, so burp. there he goes. Burp. Yeah, he's going to come back. Burp. All right, here he is. So my only What's really interesting is that these things... Oh, these things, everything kind of locks together way more than I would suspect based on previous Galvatron toys we've had. Yeah. Like, th- this part has a place to lock in. The leg part has a place to lock in. This part locks pieces in. Like, everything has a place to go. And uh-huh. with abstract modes like this, it, it's not always the case. They kind of, they, sometimes in the past, Hasbro would take the shortcut and just be like, all right, just put it here and leave it there and kind of hope that it sticks around based on joint placement. But uh, there's tabs and, and locks and, and everything to keep this exactly where it needs to be. That was a nice bonus. So my only complaint that with that, though, is is that the legs or, you know, what in our arms, I guess, um, don't actually lock in, though, right? Or am I, Or did I do it wrong when I transformed it? They do. They lock like into. Like they pretty much do, but I, I I swear that whenever I was doing it, it wasn't it wasn't like a hundred percent. It was like n- no, it's not 90. the most secure. Yeah. But they lock into the big old chest plate. Do they? Because maybe maybe yeah. I just didn't. Because I I didn't think they actually locked into the chest plate. But maybe I they just do. There's a there's a, a slot for them, but they don't yeah. really go in that well. Yeah. Okay. So I guess everything but that locks in. So there is a spot, it's just not it doesn't lock in that great. Yeah, it feels like you should be able to slide it in. There's a tab right there at the bottom of the big chest plate. Right. But it doesn't really work that well. Yeah. Yeah, it's on, on the side. What are you talking? But it's fine. Like it's it's not like it, you know. Like er- everything locks in good, and and you know it's fine without it. So I will attempt to do it while you guys are. Talking. So I I feel like with Galvatron that we've gotten a lot of versions of Galvatron, and none of them have been a hundred percent perfect. I still feel like like the fan. I mean in. Obviously, this is not a masterpiece toy, but the fans' toys, I know, was you know is probably still the best. The king, I mean, that's a a great figure uh, if you can find it um, and not pay a gajillion you, dollars for it. If you can't find it without paying a gajillion dollars, talk to Christian because Christian's selling one. <laughs> oh, you're, wow! I didn't. I thought you sold yours already. You you still not have yet? For sale? Still here? Oh wow! Yep. Look at you. Mm-hmm. So maybe it'll be gone soon. Hopefully. There you go. But yeah, so um, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, it, especially the Titans Return figure just left such a sour taste in my mouth. And I know Randall earlier had mentioned about the Universe 2.0. Um, Hi, howdy! Yeah. That one was terrible. I I hated that, that one. Did so suffer much. from being sized down supposed yeah. to be a voyager i don't know if it would have been much better as a voyager but it would have been slightly better as a voyager but yeah oh, not yeah. good very Oof. not good i think the best if you wanted a, a new representation of g1 galvatron i think your best shot was the energon version and that's yeah. 17 years old now yeah that was legit the version i was gonna get until kingdom came out I was like, I don't mind spending hundred bucks, maybe if that, to get a good Galvatron. Yeah, that plan got shot out of the water with this thing. So, it, it, it's hard to say that something that that old is modern now. So, right. 
Well, and, and Mania King, uh, which is a third-party one um, from Unique Toys, I, if I remember correctly, that one looked pretty neat, too. Yep. Um, yeah. Theory B. So, yeah. But, I mean, obviously, it, that's an older figure now at this point, too, so it doesn't quite have the same level of articulation that, that we do now on the new stuff. It looks cool, though. Yeah, legit. The only thing I don't like about Mania King is that he doesn't have any kind of wrist swivel. That's he has great articulation everywhere else, but the rest. Yeah. So this one does have wrist articulation, I think. Right? He does, yeah. Mushroom pigs. I'm going yeah, back to but he now, has, so we'll you know, e even though the thing that's been nice with Hasbro is, is that even though they've had the transformation where the fist goes into the, um, into the arm, like they've been recently, I feel like several of the figures, they've been putting them on mushroom pegs. So then they actually do have wrist swivels so that Anna doesn't. Yeah. Specifically for that reason. <laughs> <laughs> apparently this the is animals. the body shaming episode because uh <laughs> jason was saying that mania king was a little bit skinny so i don't know i mean the thing is is i kind of feel like there's a galvatron for whatever you think he should look like you know because there's the ultra stylized ones you know there's this one um you know legends uh f there's third party legend figures um and whatnot so i mean we've had quite a few big cannon from open and play oh yeah legit oh, yeah. that My... was on for a while he's fine he's i got him for 36 bucks off of bbts and he he's actually pretty good <laughs> i just wish he scaled but... properly you know like if like yeah. if they would have made him just a little bit smaller like if he would be this size i honestly might be running with that still yeah I mean, he's a good stand-in for MPs because he actually actually uh, scales good with uh, yeah he does Apollyon. So yeah, he does. He scales. He just doesn't. Yeah, you is. know, it's more of a. It, it's like a, you know, a mainline toy at the MP size. But. Which it ultimately is because that it was, they literally just took Titan's Return and did a lot to it. Right. And yeah, it's insane. But, but yeah, I mean, as far as this goes, I mean, I agree with, with Jason. He says that he thinks that Kingdom's the best that we're ever going to get as far as mainline goes. I mean, never say never. Like, there could be something in five years that's going to be better. But, I mean, this yeah. thing, like, there's no gaps anywhere, um, you know, which is nice. Um, like, it's an interesting transformation. It's a little bit different than some of the other Galvatrons and whatnot, which is... And it's pretty fun. Like, I was able to get through the transformation. Like, it's challenging, but not, like, crazy. Um, like, I think I only had to look at the instructions once. Um, Same. I think it was really the only... Trying to get the head to pop back out was trying to do the cannon plate popping off from the chest. And that was it. Because I'm like, how the hell did this go? <laughs> Didn't want to go, oh, there it is. Found it. And I think he cleans up pretty well, too. I mean, like I said, like, all the, the little bits and whatnot go in together. So. So, yeah. I mean, I think Mine's overall... Mine's a robot to have good shoulders or bad shoulders. Uh, I, um... Look at the tip top of the shoulders. Are they smooth or do they have, like, a rough ridge? Oh, no. I have. There's detailing. Okay. So. No, no, your your right camera's like top. too dark, Jack. I know. No, Mine is shadow. terrible. I can't find my regular webcam for Gilly <laughs> Squad. But... Say, like... Yeah, just right on top of the. Uh, there we go. There's like the little detailing up top on his shoulders. Yeah. Do you have detailing on yours? Yeah. Then yours is mis, uh, misassembled. Okay. So. I, I don't know why you would say it's misassembled if there's detailing, because you should be able to see it's, detailing. 
Yeah, it's supposed to be flat. I think someone like, made that up. That sounds like well, someone like, made that what up. What you can do, too, if you flip it, you can flip the arm yeah. around. I don't know if you notice on this one. Like, see how Supposed the one is just slightly match. higher? The, I, like, if you flip the okay, arm around. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Is it slightly higher on the one, like, if you flip it backwards? Yeah. Yeah, then that, yeah. That's what they're talking about. Okay. Yeah. I can it's... see that being a difference. All right. Okay. I understand now. The question is, is whether or not it bothers you. I mean, I think it's slight. Yeah, it looks it like they have slightly monkey arms with, with it being low. I don't know. It just, it looks a little bit weird with them lower, but. It's it's not Damn. a big deal. It's not it's not that much. I wish I'd stayed not understanding, but now I understand. <laughs> and that different. You're right. The millimeter made a difference. <laughs> now we got them. Now we did it. I'm sorry. I was you fine. I was fine. No, I asked. I asked. You. I know it would take some time, myself. but finally got them. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, so. Oh, another nifty thing he has in bot mode that not a lot, not all dudes have these days. He's got heal spurs. Yep. I keep forgetting about him. He's got the, the treads. He's got the, the back piece here. A little bit heavy. I'm oh, sorry. Back piece here. Treads huh. here. A bit heavy. So the heal spurs help with that. And it's funny, every time I transform him, I keep forgetting about those damn yeah, heal spurs. It's I, I like, totally why does he keep I, falling back? I and forgot as well, spurs. and then I was like, wait a minute. That's why I mentioned them. But yeah, yeah. so he's got a little bit of, of uh, ankle tilt there, or rocker, I guess. Um, he doesn't really have the ankle tilt front to back, though. But I don't you know what he does have, though? The touch. <laughs> he does have he a matrix. Got your he Actually, does have the like matrix, this matrix on a chain. What? I do too. Look at that! Look, he's yeah. styling, yeah, styling yeah. and profiling. Yeah, I mean, most of the Galvatrons we've gotten from third parties, it's on like a weird jewelry chain, and I kind of like this better, just because it's just there. It's like where it's supposed to be. Yep. I don't know. Awesome. So, yep. Yeah, I tried seeing if it was uh, compatible with any other matrices, but it is not. As I tried with uh, Studio 86's Hot Rod, and nope, it does not want to stay on. Because I wanted to try, like, the, I wanted to see how good the, like, the translucent blue version is. Uh, they can mm -hmm. kind of see through and light piping, but no, it, it don't I work. I the repaints will have the translucent one. I don't know, I can't remember. Uh, I don't want to... Certain YouTubers have already gotten the um, the toy version the toy of the Alvatron, um, but I, I don't remember what that comes with. Uh, I'm curious now. But I do like on it, like, I think the shoulders are great, though, too. Like, the shoulder pylons, like, and you can kind of have them however you want. Like, they mm -hmm. articulate. Like, I, I really like that. Um, that's one thing, like, like I had the DX9 version too, and it just didn't look quite right to me. Uh, the DX9 Galvatron. So, oh, Ron says he has a bright green matrix. So, the other version. Oh, maybe the not Comic Con one will have one. Where are they going to put that? So, yeah. Uh, His other accessories. Can you guys show those? I mine are in a box. Oh, yeah. What did I do with it? I, I had it here. He comes with the revenge. He comes with two revenges two for some them. reason. Well, Which so you I can still put it mind. together. Yeah. Right? Like one you can uh, give to Unicron's base. One you can use yeah, as a gun, no. I guess. It's not compatible with the base. <laughs> I can make it now. So the only thing 
Um, I wish on that that the five millimeter ports were just a little bit longer so that you could plug it into his arm. Because inst- otherwise, you he has to hold it as a gun. He can't yeah. put it on his other arm. But, I mean, whatever. I'm nitpicking. What did I do with it? Yeah, I tossed mine in the box. Galvatron doesn't need an additional gun. He's got cannon on his arm. And as the revenge, it doesn't fit with my Unicron stand with the Autobot shuttle. So I tossed them in the box. Yeah, and the version on the other um, Galvatron is black. So if yep. you like that color better, you can. Which I'm kind of. I was kind of disappointed. I hope they did purple to match right. the. Uh... That'll be. But the they did. Them special jerks. scanning reformatting one that we keep hearing about. Because that one's supposed to come with quote DLC for uh, Unicron. Oh yeah. Yeah, What's so it'll, I'm sure it'll be Where more. Is that supposed to come from? Like what? It was supposed to be a Comic Con thing, but they've announced our Comic Con thing. Unless there's a secret one that they're going to say tomorrow, which they might. Um, you never know. We don't know where it went. What's our Comic Con thing? Ravage. Oh, okay. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yep. Is that Pulse Con or? Yes. Yeah. Well, we also mm-hmm. have a couple other Comic Cons, so maybe they'll do something for those. Right? Isn't New York and San Diego still like they're just doing virtual ones? San Diego's in November. Yeah. New so maybe. Still yeah. October. New York should still be in October. Yeah. I think. I don't know. I haven't paid attention to that. But yeah, PulseCon makes up for san diego so we'll we'll see how that yeah. goes pulse con september right yes i think or they, they not just said fall i don't think they've actually oh, okay. announced anything yet yeah, galvatron's cool I don't think he's the coolest figure in the line but this has been a line of really cool figures so yeah. This was Galvatron was sorely needed. Like he absolutely needed to exist. And like I think Ron or Jason said in the chat, whoever said it in the chat, that's the best version we're gonna get. They're probably right. We could get another thing in another five years, but uh, I don't know that I'll need to upgrade. It right. have to be really, really upgraded right. somehow, and I I just don't see them doing that to a degree where I'll need to change it again. I don't know, you say that, and I don't know, I feel like I'm always a sucker for that kind of stuff. <laughs> you and me both, buddy, so we'll see. <laughs> Talk to us in five years. Right. right. Lucas's right. hair will be even longer. <laughs> Perhaps. True. We'll, we'll see. But, uh... I can't believe you guys showed me the shoulder thing. <laughs> now it's stuck in his head. Now it's stuck now in his head. Now we got him worried. Oh, man. I'm just waiting for you to, to do that and then do a peroxide treatment on them, right? Peroxide won't do anything. By the way, I don't know if anyone's been like waiting on tinter hooks for me to tell them what the peroxide baths have been doing. They've been doing excellently. They've whitened all of my yellowed figures. Definitely do it. Also, a caveat, seemingly at random, it bleaches other paint colors. Not paint colors, other plastic colors. Right. I don't know why. Like I, I, the biggest examples that I bleached or not bleached, I treated my TFC Perseus, which is the Shatter Glass Constructicons and Devastator set from uh-huh. TFC. And on some of them, the red plastic looks just as red as when I put it in. On some of them, it's like pink now. And on the rest of them, it's kind of in the middle. And on Mixed Master in particular, the front part of that plastic piece on his chest is very pink. The back part same red i don't know why I, I can't figure out what what the difference was so be careful but it works and to me it was worth it to get the yellow away i'd rather have pink pink and red plastic than yellowed white plastic but that's a neat thing six percent hydrogen peroxide in a glass jar for three days in the sun and get you going yeah randall says it has to do with the type of plastic 
But I know uh-huh. um, Paul's mentioned that too because he's dyed figures and things like that, and he said it just kind of depends on the type of plastic on on you know what takes to dye and whatnot. So it should be type of plastic, but for it to be different on the same pieces is odd to me. Yeah, it seems weird. Oh. Yeah. It also de-yellowed my pink plastic on my Titans Return RC. Huh. That yellowed, I brought it back. And my it de-yellowed my gray plastic on my actual 2008 Shadow Glass Megatron. That was the big one. That's why I've been learning this whole technique for years to try and get that back to normal, and it worked. So, yay. Are you getting the new Shadow Glass Megatron? Yes. Okay. Pulse one. I'm in, I'm indifferent to it right now. I'm not sure. It's just just eh right now. I love Shatter Glass, Glass, but that's everything. just. Eh. I don't know. I Shatter feel Glass like at this everything. point, I'm I'm a Siege Megatron collector more than anything else. Got to get all of them, man. So I don't know how many I have or how many I will have, but too many to count. We'll see. You have at least two more than I do. Yeah. Got them all. Yeah, more than I do. I mean, hell, I have... It's funny that I never found Earthrise Megatron, but I have the G2 version. But I never saw the original. Never saw him. For all the yeah. time I've been looking, I never saw him. The Earthrise... I, I don't know. I mean, it's fine. I like the G2 one a lot better. Yeah. Like as far as that mold, I think I'd rather have the siege one. And, you know, we talked about this when we did the siege Megatron review, uh, the new Netflix one, the new Netflix, uh, the, the one that came with this, whatever the battle damaged purple boy. So the other purple boy in this video. Oh yeah. Um, so Earthrise Megs has been spotted at Ollie's. I think somebody, whatever that wave was, wave three, I guess, somehow went to Ollie's. It so. was him and Snapdragon, I think, and I found a crap ton of Snapdragon, but I never found Megatron once. I'm, I'm wondering if I can go clear some out, like on the way to TFCon Baltimore, assuming that happens. Maybe right. I'll go have a look at my Ollie's. There you go. Too bad I don't have one up here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, this one, um, the Galvatron, like, I don't feel like it's as good as the Cyclonus, would you say? Like, I don't think it's, like, I would take the Cyclonus over this one. Yeah. But. It's not bad. No. Like I mentioned earlier, it's just in a line full of really great figures. Right. Which was preceded by a line of even more great figures. So, it. We have a high bar now. It's it's more difficult to judge things on their own merits than just by them. You know, than, than comparing them against everything that's come before. So, this is a good figure. You will not be disappointed in it. But, if you're still expecting it to hit the same high bars as, like, Cyclonus or Hot Rod, you're going to be disappointed. Try not to be, because it's still good. That's part of the thing, too, is, is like, you were saying the new uh, Commander, um, you know, Rodimus... Like, since mm-hmm. Hot Rod came out before, and you're, like, so wowed by that, that it's, like, the new one, you're, like, eh, it's it's really we, good. It does the thing, but... We will get to Rodimus, right. but, yeah. Speaking Compa- of Rodimus. When, because it exists after Hot Rod and after Skylinks and Jetfire, it has a lot to live up to, and it doesn't quite live up all the way. I like that you're pulling out the power of the primes on there. That's yeah, I thought you were like, "Oh, I've got the new one." You're like, "Nope, Power of the Primes." I wish no. This, as soon as you started talking about Rodimus, I'm like, "Ooh, that gives me a good time to start thinking about this. What I want to do with him?" Because it's just meh at this point. Oh, hundred percent. I'll probably end up selling that one, but I'll keep the black one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised if they do a uh, Hasbro Pulse version of, you know, like a dark version of yeah, the probably, Commander. Yeah, I'd agree. I, I mean, I guess they'd probably do the Commander eventually. I'd rather them just do Hot Rod. 
That too. I don't know that I want to shatter glass Rodimus Prime in the trailer. But, you know, maybe, probably. I'll buy anything, so who knows. <laughs> Right. Did you get the um, the new Jetfire, the uh, the Shattered Glass one? I mean, not yet. <laughs> Keyword. No, but yeah. I'm saying, did you it's order? It's not out. Oh yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, I ordered that. You get it? Thing so. is great. There you go. Ooh, a Lost Light Purple Hot Rod. That would be cool. I'll take that. Yeah, I'd buy that. Sure. Yeah, so they could do a couple different ones. So, but, uh, but yeah, no, the Scalatron's really good. And, and to be honest, like, this recent wave of Kingdom has not been that great. Like, it had what, Scorponok that you guys did, the, uh, Wingfinger. Scorponok, Wingfinger. Was fine. Tracks, was which. Fine. Tracks, which was. Depends on the copy you get. Yep. Um,. We didn't do the core dudes. Draco Dawn is blindingly neon. Sound like people like but can't get for some reason. Yeah. I can't. Uh, and there's Galvatron. Yeah. Are there any Voyagers? Do we miss Voyagers? I yeah, guess it's Rhinox. Inferno we haven't done Rhinox yet. Oh, Rhinox. Rhinox is good. Yeah. So. Anyway. Yeah, sure, but I'll yeah. get him. Galvatron's good, though. So, I'd recommend him. Yes. I would, too. He's pretty much the de- definitive mainline. It's just not as exciting as some of the other stuff. So, what would you say, Jack? Honestly, my favorite version of Galvatron right right now. Um, considering I have obviously Mania King, Big Cannon, who I love, and I'm not even sure if I want to mention the one that should not be mentioned, which is you know Titan Return. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, without a doubt, my favorite mainline Galvatron right now, without question. Is, is this one? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, go get him. If there's really a running change, like it's real, and it's not just a random smattering of misassembled versus assembled correctly, maybe wait a second to see if you can get an assembled correctly one. Otherwise, I think he looked okay until my eyes were opened and he looks fine this way too. Just see the backs of the pins. And if that really bothers you too, then there's fillers like Lucas said. And if you don't want to do that, you can try and fix it. If you don't want to do that, then I guess you're SOL. There's so many options to do one of them. (laughs) Yeah. So yeah, I would assume he's showing up at some point. So I don't know. We'll see. Probably. I don't know. I know Probably. they're doing. Um, I think Walmart and Target are both doing toy resets, so I would assume that they should be showing up at some point. But yeah, I don't know. Book club this week uh, at eight o'clock. They're going to do Transformers Animated Episode Six, and at nine o'clock Central, they're going to discuss Sins of the Wreckers issues one and two, and homework. Mm. Before you read Sins of the Wreckers issues one and two, you have to read Last Stand of the Wreckers, which is five issues. You do. So, yeah. So that's like, that's just assumed you've already read that one. So, yes, you must read Last Stand before you read Sins. Sorry. Yeah, I, I feel it. like you have must read Last Stand of the Wreckers either way, right? Yes. If you exist as a human being or a robot, <laughs> I don't know, whatever you are, if you're listening to my voice, you must read Last Stand of the Wreckers just in general. Yep. Which I'm very tempted to do. Do it. Do it right now. But I don't have a copy right now. Order it. Order it. Damn it. There you go. Damn it. So. Look, oh, looking up Amazon right now. Good job. Ron mentioned that uh, the Ark and Rodimus are technically part of this wave as well, so. So yeah, are, those are a little uh, more expensive, though. Those are. We'll get to them. Yep. We will review those at some point. I have Rodimus, Lucas has Arky, Anna has neither one of them, but we'll we'll get it together at some point. I don't know if she's getting... I'm not sure. I'll have to ask her. I don't know if she's getting either one of them. Yeah. I, can't, I, I just know. can't remember if she is or not. I think she was trying to get an arc. 
Yeah, I can't remember. We'll find we'll out next week. When she comes back. So. Hey, we'll be back next week. If you guys want us to review something specific, let us know. We'll do the best. Our, we'll do our best to accommodate you. I may even come back for another episode. Yeah, yeah. we may have Jack back. Yeah, it's been a hot minute. We'll, we'll let uh, Anna know she's on. been replaced. Sorry, she she skipped yeah. out one week. <laughs> See ya, Anna. <laughs> and then we'll lose all of Anna's devoted fans. So, true. That is true. Can't so, do that. We'll have, right. to, we'll have to figure out a way. Well, well, thanks guys for joining us. Uh, thanks to everyone in the chat. Uh, thanks to Randall, Ron, Jason, uh, Sean. Oh yeah, Randall says Rhinox. So, do you have Rhinox? Christian? Me, yes. Well, there you go. Maybe we'll do that. So. Oh, Randall wants us to do Rhinox this week. Okay, we'll do that. Yeah. Well, you ain't seeing me next week because I don't have him yet. <laughs> Maybe we'll get our good friend Swift on the show and he can talk to us about it. There you I'm go. I'm sure he has it. So we bring him in to talk about all the beasts. Yeah. So. Good point. All right, well, thanks, right, guys. Tentative plan, we... Rhinox next week. So, oh, man, can we plan this far in the future? <laughs> Tentative. Okay. All right, well, thanks, guys. We'll see you next week. <laughs>